saw you walking down on Melrose. You looked like an angel straight out of heaven, girl. I was blown away by Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about my K-beauty summer must-haves. Now I have quite a bit and these are truly like my favorites and my must-haves for the summer. Everything I'm gonna mention I, I use like all the time, especially during the summer I think it would be the most helpful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Now the first thing of course is gonna be sunscreen. Like even if it's not summer, I still think you should wear sunscreen every single day just to protect your skin from the sun, like the harmful UV rays. Cause like if you expose your skin to the sun without any SPF in it, like your skin will age faster, you'll have sun spots, just also acne as well. So it's best to protect your skin. So the sunscreen, like I use a sunscreen all the time, no matter what. So I go through a lot of sunscreens all the time and I'm always trying to test out the best ones. And the one I've been using these days, the one I really like is this Opu Everyday Sun Gel and it has SPF 50 plus and PA plus 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 plus. So there's four. Now, the reason why I like this one so much is because it is very hydrating. Like other sunscreens I use, it just, I feel like it just sits on top of the skin this one actually goes like deep into your skin also it provides a lot of hydration without making your skin feel very greasy throughout the day because a lot of sunscreens i use tend to make my skin really greasy looking throughout the day this one doesn't so yeah it also doesn't really leave a white cast on my skin of course like i can't really test it out for deeper skin tones but i know a lot of opu uh, sunscreens don't really leave a lot of a white cast also the best part is that it doesn't break me out because i feel like a lot of sunscreens do tend to break me out easily but yeah this is the one i've been using so far it has a really tiny tube but it is also very inexpensive now the next product is going to be this huxley concealer it's called the relaxing concealer i like this so much because it has SPF in it. Like I never really heard of a lot of concealers that have SPF. This has SPF 30 with PA++. Everyone always talks about having SPF in their foundation, but no one really talks about having it in your concealer. And I feel like it is really important to have it in your concealer as well, especially for me because I get really bad dark circles under my eyes. So I feel like having a concealer with SPF will also, you know, provide a bit more SPF to those under eyes so it doesn't really darken as well. I mean, it's not full coverage like I'm not saying it's gonna be full coverage but I feel like for everyday usage this is enough coverage for your under eyes it's, I would say it's like a medium coverage now I usually use this when I go to the gym or whenever I work out um, or if I ever go to the beach and it's like this click pen uh, applicator the only unfortunate thing is that it only comes in one shade so hopefully they do release more shades because just one shade is definitely not enough but yeah hopefully more concealers come out with SPF in it now this is truly my holy grail one of my holy grails it's gonna be the so natural powder for room makeup powder fix and the color I have is in like this brightening yellow shade now I first used this powder when I went to Korea when I went to the style Korean k-beauty guru competition and for like the final round it was doing a, a makeup tutorial out of like all the products they had at their office and the foundation I used I really didn't like it like it just emphasized the texture on my skin looked really greasy as well and it just looked really bad like I never had a foundation look that bad on me but then when I set it with this powder it just completely smoothed out everything um, made the whole face just look really nice and set so it actually like makes any you know bad skin texture look pretty smooth the reason why I like this so much I keep this in my makeup bag all the time uh, for touch-ups like it's just a really nice compact size of course of course I wish they had like a pan that's bigger but I mean this is just a really convenient size for a touch up so I use this whenever I get oily throughout the day I have combination skin so I get an oily t-zone and I just use this and I just blot my face with this powder and it doesn't really emphasize the skin texture um, it doesn't emphasize the dryness of your skin as well because usually when I do powder my face throughout the day I feel like some powders really accentuate the dryness of my face because I do have some dry areas on my face and I did use this to set my face um, really lightly around the rest of my face to let a little bit of glow but if you of course if you want a bit more of a mattifying finish then you can use like the puff included or any other puff but I went lightly with my brush and I do know they have a pink tone but I don't 
I haven't tried that one. Uh, I feel like the yellow one just works better with my skin color. Um, I don't have that many makeup products in this video, but uh, one of them is gonna be this Three Concept Eyes Eye Switch, and the color I have is in Throbbing. I don't know why it's called Throbbing, but they do have other shades, but it's pretty much like this glitter eyeliner. Now, I do have this on my eyes. I'm not sure if you can see, but I really do like wearing this, um, especially during the summertime because I think it just really emphasizes your eyes, makes your eyes look a little bit cuter, prettier. Um, with that little dazzling gleam in your eyes. Now the one I have in Throbbing, um, it's like in the light, it looks like white glitter, but in the light it has some yellow tones, green, blue, purple. So it just gives a really cute like iridescent look to your eyes. It also stays on a really long time, which is why I really like this during the summer because you do sweat. So yeah, this doesn't budge unless um, you remove it. And the, the best way to remove this is with like a cotton swab because uh, you don't want to like, like rub your eyes with this glitter because it might get in your eyes, might irritate your skin. Yeah, whenever I do wear this, I get a lot of compliments on my makeup, even though I don't really do much to my eyes except you know just adding a little bit of glitter to it to make it look prettier. Now the other uh, makeup product I have is another Three Concept Eyes uh, makeup and it's this soft lip lacquer and the color I have is an explicit. Explicit is like a really toned down red with a little bit of pink to it. Uh, I am wearing this on my lips right now kind of sheerly. The reason why I like this so much is because I'm not a really huge fan of liquid lipsticks even though I have like a few in my collection. Cause just because I hate how it looks sometimes it it looks really dry. It's a bit too pigmented in my opinion, which uh, I'll explain later. Like it just looks too strong on your lips. The reason why I like this one so much is because it's, it's a lighter formula. It's not as thick or drying as other liquid lipsticks I've tried. And I feel like this is kind of like, you can do a lot. You can wear it sheerly like how I did, or you can wear it full on color to be a brighter red or more pigmented red. I just blotted it kind of on my lips today. It lasts for a while, like it doesn't emphasize the dryness in my skin when I, and I definitely do have some dry patches on my skin, on my lips. But specifically, I really like this shade just because I feel like it's a really universal uh, red color. Cause I'm not a huge fan of wearing a lot of reds on my lips cause sometimes it just looks a bit too much. But I feel like this red color is really pretty and it's a bit more toned down. So it's a lot more wearable. And I think it's like the perfect shade for summertime too. I think my last makeup product I have is this So Natural All Day Tight Makeup Setting Fix Spray. I feel like I have a lot of So Natural products. Um, basically, uh, this is like a setting spray. And the reason why I like this so much is because, of course, it makes your makeup last all day. Like, I've tried other setting sprays and I never really understood, like, the gimmick of it because I always thought it didn't really make my makeup last any longer. But this really does do that. It has, like, a nice subtle floral scent. I'm usually not a huge fan of floral scents, but this one's quite pleasant, I guess. So yeah, your makeup doesn't smudge when you use this. Um, also makes like the, the first key things I noticed was my eyebrows and my blush lasting a lot longer. Cause I don't really have any problems with my eye makeup lasting, but usually uh, the first things to go on my face is my blush and my eyebrows. But with this, it lasts a lot longer. They do have like a glow version, but I haven't tried that yet. I'm going for the setting fix one. It also hydrates the skin cause it has like lemon uh, centella extract in it. The only issue I have with this is that I'm not sure if mine is like busted, but when it comes out, it doesn't come out in a fine mist. It comes out like in a squirt. Oh, like it's fine, but sometimes there's a little bit of like a like little droplet. It doesn't really mess with my makeup, but I just, you know, just preference. I prefer like a finer mist just cause it's a bit more even. Maybe I fixed it. No, there's still droplets. Now a few skincare items I really like have been this these Opu masks. Um, I have the Icing Sweet Bar one and also the yogurt one. Uh, the yogurt one I have is in blueberry and this one is watermelon. I really do like the quality of Opu masks and they're really cheap. Like I always hear people complaining to me about how masks, cheap masking is too expensive, but like honestly, these are less than $2. I would prefer the yogurt ones more than this just because these ones just stay on the face better. It makes my, it smells so nice. This one just smells a bit artificial, but it's still a good mask. But yeah, these have been my favorite cheap, cheap masks lately. But yeah, this one comes with like backing 
working so it just applies on the face easier this one you just have to you know unravel it, it takes a little bit more time but you pretty much get the same results these uh, make your skin feel a lot more hydrated the scent's nice and the best part is that they don't test on animals I feel like a lot of it's really hard to find Korean brands that don't test on animals now the final product I have are these creepy little baby masks from Dr. Jart Actually, they're called the Shake and Shot Rubber Mask. Um, I have all of the different kinds. I have this Hydrate, the Hydro Shot, the Luminous one, Soothing, and the Elastic one. I didn't really want to try this initially because I was like freaked out by the weird packaging. Like it just made me uncomfortable looking at this. But um, I decided to try it out because it was really cheap on Style Korean. Like I've seen it sold at Sephora for like $12 for these masks. And I was like, I'm not gonna spend 12 bucks on that. Style Korean had them for like, they always usually have like those sales, like the time deals. So they were like $6 or around $6. So a lot cheaper than uh, Sephora. But the reason why I like these so much is because it's like a different kind of mask. It's like one of those masks you make yourself. It's not as easy as a sheet mask, but like I think the process is what makes it really fun and nice. Basically, when you open the little baby space, well, this straw thing is actually like a spatula. So it comes with these two little packs it comes with the shaking rubber and then the the shot like the hydrating shot elastic whatever type it is you just mix the two in these this cup like you're supposed to like shake it up like kind of like a shot I guess like alcohol shot I'm not sure and then you just use the spatula to apply it evenly on the face and the texture of it is interesting it really does feel like a little rubber like a really lightweight rubber on the face and you're supposed to peel it off it just makes your skin feel so nice so smooth so healthy looking like is the results I would say look kind of better than some sheet masks I use because sometimes I don't really like how soaked sheet masks are like I love I love how sheet masks make my skin feel but I hate like how it's like just dripping all over my face so if you want an easier mask a mask solution I feel like these rubber ones are really interesting and a lot more fun to try out but yeah I wouldn't go to Sephora and pay full price for it because it's kind of ridiculous but like I just still don't understand the point of the packaging I would understand if it looked like one of those I don't know what it's called those shaking things for alcohol that like bartenders have but I don't understand this anyways that's all my k-beauty summer must-haves um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting to you. I hope you learned a bit of stuff about all the products I mentioned. I'll have all the links to everything I uh, mentioned in the description box. But yeah, these have been like my summer favorites lately. And I hope you guys try it out. At least one, because I think it's interesting. If you have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments below. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, blog, wherever. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Slow down. I just wanna get to know you, but don't turn around.